Once again, Planet Vehicle, we're here in LA at the Auto Show, having such a wonderful time. And guess what? I got a chance to reconnect with a gentleman I hadn't seen in a while. Richard James, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, all right. So you're one of those guys that with communications with GM. And yes. You're the ones who make sure that we get the information so that we can give the folks who are watching about the cars that GM are Yeah, we get out. you the information, we get you the cars, we get you to the auto shows, we get you to the drives. We're here to help. There you go. Yeah. And the great thing about it is I get a chance to have some fun, learn about the cars, and give the information to you guys. So when it comes time for you to go in the showroom or look online, you'll have some background and you can make a more intelligent choice. Now, I was going back to the days when, you know, I'm like, well, actually, I'm going to close to 52 now. And Hot Wheels. We still always have the Hot oh, Wheels. Oh, yeah. You know, we have the track. The track. And yeah. the thing about it was there was no motors. It was just, you know what? Yeah. Ball bearings. Oh, Let's yeah. just go. So oh, yeah. the Hot Wheels was like the hot thing. So now I'm looking at the Camaro because I had a Camaro as a Hot Wheels. Yes. I had a yes. white one. Yeah. C28. Okay. So now I'm looking at this thing. And, and look, take a look, Mel. Look at this. It's a convertible Camaro and it's a Hot Wheels. Tell yeah, it's me about on the Hot Wheels thing. track. Tell me about this thing. Well, this is the new Camaro convertible. Mm -hmm. Actually, the LA Auto Show is the first time that the convertible has been shown at an auto show. So this is the first time? This is the very first so time right here the convertible, convertible has vehicle. been shown. This is the first time that you're seeing the convertible. Thank you, Richard. You're Carry welcome. On. You're welcome. And, and you know, we've had the Camaro mm -hmm. in the market for, you know, approximately two years mm -hmm. now. Great car, you know, good fuel mileage in the base vehicle, mm -hmm. 300 horsepower in the base vehicle. Most people are kind of moving up to get a little bit more performance in the SS mm -hmm. with a 426 horsepower engine. So the package yeah. of the Camaro that we've had in place for the last two years has been very, very successful for us, and we're really pleased with it. But of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. you got a Camaro, you got to take it up to the next level. That's right. And so the next level is the convertible, wow. which we're introducing here, which will go into the sale in the market starting next spring. Next spring? Next spring. But we got it here, and this is the first time it's being showed is here in First LA. time at an auto show, that All is right. correct. I'll tell you what, let's do this, let's get in. Can let's I get in? Can I get in? Can I get in? Can I get in? Can I get in? So, you know, this is the best part about this show. I get a chance to get into the nicest cars and yeah, just check them out. And, and Richard's here, so he, he knows about the car, so any questions I have, I can just ask him. All right, so now, one of the things I'm noticing right here, haha, -ha, no idiot lights. No, no, you know, one, one of the things with this design mm -hmm. is, you know, the, the concept of the Camaro when it was first introduced was really based off the 67 to 69, but primarily the 69 Camaro. Mm -hmm. And so, even though the exterior of the car looks very, very modern, uh, it still sort of harkens back so to the heritage yeah of the original Camaro. Yes. And so what we wanted to do with the interior is carry that heritage into the interior. So even though you've got all the modern conveniences of OnStar, mm -hmm. turn-by-turn directions, Bluetooth connections, you know, everything that everybody expects in today's automobiles, the, the design of the interior does harken back to that original design, especially these heritage type gauges. Because yes. those, you know, performance hot rod drivers back in the days, right. you had to have gauges. If you didn't have gauges, right. you did not have a performance car. Like I said, if you had the little light that comes on red that says, they call them idiot now lights. Now you will have, there's a driver information center. But that's information. I'm talking about the old days. Yeah, which is little, yeah you'll right. get a warning that'll right. come on, you know, so so these mm -hmm. these do work, but there's also a warning light that will come on as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, you know. Now I like this, you got the the leather wrap. You got the leather wrap. You know, this, this also has, you know, what we call a heads up display. I don't know if you can really pick that up in, in camera, but mm -hmm. what'll happen is there's a basically a projection screen that's up here that reflects information onto the windshield. So I don't so have to necessarily look down. You don't have down. to look down here. You don't have to look down at your speedometer. You can look up straight, hands on the wheels, eyes on the road, your speed, your tack, you know, even mm. when the radio station changes to a new song, it'll pop up really quickly saying, wow. hey, this is Chris Brown's new single or whatever it is. Gotcha. Right? gotcha. You know? Now, so, you know, in the 60s, mm -hmm. the Camaro was just straight out power. Right. Straight. Don't don't try to make a turn. Right. Now, of course, this is the, the new updated Camaro. How does right. it handle? Yeah. the. Uh, it's very different. I mean, you, you've still got the straight out power, we got the 426 horsepower, but uh, yeah. today's vehicles are more sports cars mm. than just the muscle cars of old. Right. So this vehicle is actually built on a much stronger mm. architecture, as we call it, in the industry, mm. which provides for fantastic ride and handling, mm. which is really what um, takes it to the next level. Um, you know, mm. you've, you've got a great architecture, you've got a great foundation 
to build on that allows you to have the performance components that people are expecting in a car like this. So again, you've yeah. got the horsepower you need, but you've got Stabilitrack, track, yeah. you've got ABS brakes, you've got all of the technologies, as well as a very rigid architecture that allows you to drive this car yeah. on a track, yeah. making all the sweeping turns, uh, as well as straight ahead, as we did in the like, old days. Right. Yeah. Now, speaking of old days, I, I see this goes up to 160. Mm -hmm. Is that kilometers or is that? That's miles. Okay. So, you know, what, what do we stop at? Where are we limited to? I, you know, I can't remember the exact limiter on sure these particular you can. cars, but yeah. let's just say it's, <laughs> it's over the speed limit for those that want to take it on okay. a private closed course. We'll leave it at that. Yes. Uh, closed course only. Do not drive on the highway streets above the posted speed limit. Does that sound convincing? Not at Not all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Richard. Hey, good seeing you again. Good catching up with you hey, again. You I'm anything, sure we're here all day. Oh, I know. And, and, and I know as General Motors and Chevrolet and the other brands come up with more products and more technology and more fun, I'm sure you'll keep us in the loop here on Planet Vehicle, right? Hey, that's what we're here for. All right, so you heard him. He's going to come back and give us more information about the updates. We'll be back with more from the LA Auto Show. I'm Alvin Jones, and of course, this is Planet Vehicle.